Hello and welcome to Kerry D's Artistry and Design Limited. I'm Kerry D and today we're going to be looking at the Pipe to Five Petal Blossom. This blossom is one every cake decorator should know how to pipe and is a staple flower for any last minute orders, cupcakes, inscriptions, many uses for this. So let's take a little look at the materials and equipment. Now, first of all, we obviously need raw icing. I've got raw icing here in three colours. I always use liquid colour for my flowers. Don't use paste colours. Paste colours contain glycerides and glycerine, which means your flowers may not dry correctly once you finish them off. Uh, piping bag, you can either use plastic or paper. I'm using piping bag in paper for the number two tube that I'm going to be using today. I have a regular nozzle which is a number two and I have a petal tube which could be any petal tube you want to use. It depends on the size of the petals you want to pipe as to what size the tube would be. I have a plastic piping bag with me today because I'm going to show you a technique for piping two-toned flowers. Obviously we're piping flowers so we need a piping nail. There are many piping nails on the market. If I have any advice for you, that would be buy a bigger one because you can pipe small flowers on a big piping nail. However, you can't pipe big flowers on a small piping nail. Palette knife, obvious requirement. Our cake decorator's friend, which will be a small damp paintbrush. And a cocktail stitch stick, which I actually use to take the color out and put into my icing so I don't contaminate my colors. And squares of wax paper. Okay, let's look at what we're going to do with this. Now before I start, I just wanted to make you familiar with the part of the petal piping tube I'm using. I'm going to be using a curved one today, but this is the straight tube I usually use for my bigger blossoms and for my roses. Now if you look, it is actually teardrop shaped. Now if you think of a teardrop falling, you'll see that the fattest bit is at the bottom. So if it was actually used on a piping nail, the bottom would be the centre the thinnest edge would be the outer edge of the petal. So that's what the piping nozzle would be in relationship to the nail. So let's look at filling the bag to give us some two-tone flowers. Now I've put a coupler on the end of this bag. I normally pipe my blossoms with a paper bag anyway, but just so you can see through the bag, this will help you to see what I'm doing. First of all, I'm gonna take my darker color, raw icing, and knowing where the bottom of the tube is, I'm going to line up this icing and smear it up the inside of the bag. A little bit more, not too much. Okay. As you can see, I've now smeared that up the inside of the bag. So changing now to the lighter colour icing, I'll turn my bag over and I'll force the lighter colour down the inside of there as well. That should do it. Now, if I close up my bag, you will see I have two colours in there. The joy of this means that every time I pipe a, ba a pipe a blossom, I'll have a slight variation on a theme. So just to see whether it's working, give this a squeeze, and it'll start coming out darker in the bottom, thinner on the outer edge. So let's go ahead and take a look at piping a blossom. Now one last thing you need to remember before you start piping, when you actually buy your petal nozzles, if you buy one with an R on, that means it's for a right-handed person. If you pick up one that's got an L on it, that's for a left-handed person. If it has an S, that's obvious it's a straight petal nozzle and can be piped by both hands. Okay, everything I'm doing now is right-handed. You just reverse this totally if you're piping with the other hand. So I have my flower nail. I'm going to smallest bit of raw icing into the middle of my nozzle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this and go in and out with this hand. And there's five petals, so squeezing with an even pressure, go out, back in, and stop. Turn it slightly, put the next petal behind it, out, back in and stop, again, out, back in and stop, one more, out, back in and stop. Now we come to the trickiest petal, it's the one everyone has a problem with. So you actually pipe the petal and when you come to the end, lift straight up. Then taking our friend the damp paintbrush, go in and just touch down that one edge just to put it where it should be on the petal. There you go. 
Once you've done that, you can then remove that from the nozzle, from the nail, sorry. Then going in, I've got a number two tube here with a darker orange center. It can be any color you want to pick out on top of your cake. I'm gonna pipe a small bulb in the middle of here. Then just to make sure I don't have that peak on it, I'll touch it down with a paintbrush then set that aside to dry for a little while. I normally leave them overnight, however, they will be dry enough to handle within a couple of hours. As you can see, the coloring is really subtle. You can do them in block colors. You can do them really dramatic, like reds and whites. However, I tend to like the subtlety of them. As you can see by other ones that I've had already done and dried, they come in various different shapes, sizes, and colors. The little ones are the most useful when it comes to birthday cakes and cupcakes because you can put several on top of them. There you go and that will show you how to pipe the five petal blossom. <laughs>